Okay, so climate smart agriculture means different things to different people. So in this workshop, we're just 30 people, but if you look at the amount of information that has come out, depending on where you're standing, it means different things. And for me, even climate smart means practicing um, agriculture in a way that increases productivity and also at the same time reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The activities that help to um, ensure food security and also protecting the environment. That is when we are climate smart. For me, being climate smart means making the right choice for the people and for the planet. Being adaptive and uh, and work uh, work for short-term uh, profitable uh, investments in uh, in the adaptation to the changes in the climate. For me, being climate smart means to to be deliberate. And, and very intentional in, in addressing climate action. Yes. Climate smart agriculture means adaptation, which means uh, um, adapting to climate change. And it is about mitigation, because agriculture contributes to climate change through greenhouse gas emissions and the like. So what we need to do also is to promote uh, uh, forestation, discourage cutting down of trees, and uh, promote greener, uh, cleaner energy options. For me, being climate smart means um, combining different agricultural approaches, not necessarily sophisticated technology, but the normal um, agricultural practices to promote um, agriculture, sustainable agriculture. For me, climate smart means that in everything that I do, I realize that I have to do things differently. I have to, to be mindful that uh, I have to be efficient for every resource that is there. Resources are dwindling, so the way I eat, what I dress, I have to be mindful. The way I produce my food, I have to be mindful that I should reuse resources in a different manner, because there is not infinite resources available there. For me, being climate smart means that uh, farmers, especially, have to put in place uh, practices that takes into consideration the extremes of the weather that they encounter in order to still be able to sustain their productivity and also to remain uh, resilient and also uh, to uh, provide them some mitigatory uh, factors. For me, being climate smart means being context specific. For me, being climate smart agriculture means uh, strengthen uh, uh, government vulgarization agents' capacity to allow them to support farmers on climate change context. Being climate smart means sustainably producing food, you know, effectively in the changing stride of um, climate imbalance. For me, being climate smart means working to the direction of achieving green economy. To people that are working with, for example, pastoralists in the very dry and arid areas, for them, climate smart agriculture means looking at um, solutions that can help pastoralists make sure that their livestock doesn't die. For people that are coming from areas where there's a focus on crop production and farmers that have little or no output as a result of erratic rainfall, as well as other climatic changes, climate smart agriculture means, for example, having drought tolerant seeds that can withstand drier climate, or maybe uh, seeds that can withstand a lot of water. So it depends where you're standing. If you're touching the tail of the elephant, maybe for you, <laughs> climate smart agriculture means having information into your phone telling you what the weather is going to be for the next seven days. But if you're touching the task, you know, at the front, maybe for you it means having a system where you can irrigate precisely uh, different crops that you have using precision agriculture. So it really depends. And also when you look at the wide diversity of, for example, uh, let me just give the example, Africa, Pacific and Caribbean, you find that what farmers in the Caribbean are considering climate smart and actually their needs 
cannot be the same as farmers, for example, in Africa. You know, as small island development states, their needs are different, they differ. You know, they are concerned with maybe salination of water and rising sea levels. So they need solutions that can speak to those issues. While, for example, maybe farmers in the Pacific have different needs and, you know, they have different needs and so they need different solutions. So this is where the elephant is coming from. It's huge, it's big, and it doesn't matter where you touch, it's still climate smart agriculture. But the key issue is that it has to be contextualized for the farmers that you're dealing with and at that time. Because why am I mentioning the time issue? For farmers, for example, in Southern Africa, during the harvest season, they need climate smart solutions to post harvest losses. But during the cropping season, they need climate smart solutions for production and ensuring that the crops survive.